But I mean, uh, I think I'm right in saying that uh, Einstein, some, some, some people have, have said to me, Einstein didn't believe in quantum mechanics. That seems to be silly. I think what he said was, quantum mechanics is obviously true. I just don't think your theories are right. So would he be on your side? Yeah. Or would he? He'd be closer to Gerard's. Yes. Right. Yeah. He just felt that the theory as Heisenberg and Bohr came up with it was just obviously not right. Well, it was predictively right. right, but he felt that it didn't have the overall correct theoretical shape, and he was interested in something like a hidden variable kind of completion, but not of a, an ordinary kind. Okay, you can't say hidden variable without telling people. So this is one of the various interpretations. Is it, is it fair to say that hidden variables is making a comeback? Because it is a matter of, of, of fashion. I mean, in, in, in fashion for us, it's flared trousers and kipper ties. For this lot, it's many worlds or hidden variables or... Is, it, is hidden variables coming back, and can you tell them what it is? I think it's probably one of so, you. So, so you used the word hidden variables right at the beginning without explaining what it was, so, so I'm just following your lead. Oh, um, okay, so don't blame me, I'm a biologist. <laughs> 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 right, so the idea of a, of a so-called hidden variable is that um, if you take the normal mathematical descriptions in quantum mechanics, it doesn't seem to tell you all of the things you think that might be said about how the world is, and the idea is there might be some actual variables in the world uh, which we're not seeing, hence hidden, which do fill, fill in all the details. So there's no vagueness, perhaps, because in fact there's, there is a more specific description that's going on underneath. It's just one that we're ignorant of. So I think it's fair to say that in some ways, Jared's um, preferred option for a surpassing or completing quantum theory would be a species of hidden variable theory, but one which is relaxed about backwards influence in time. <laughs> um, is that <laughs> Uh, but in terms of uh, making a comeback, I think with all of these interpretations, collapsed hidden variables, we're actually, there are probably increasing numbers of adherents of all of them because we're actually understanding what's involved of them in them better. Um, and in some ways, it's quite good to have a plurality of views. You've got serious people seriously developing them. In both the hidden variables program and collapsed programs, you've got genuine physics to do as well as just philosophy. So you actually have to show how these things could be completed in various ways to work in high energy physics and so on, in particle physics. Um, and whether or not ultimately they're successful is probably down to whether or not you can get those kinds of models to work, to build. So it's basically a kind of a physics question, not a philosophy question. Yeah, but I think there's more of everything and that's surely a good thing. <laughs>